All right, now boom, now. All right, we're gonna talk about Naruto and the character Itachi in Naruto, right? Now, we all know Na uh, Itachi, that's like everybody's favorite character. He's Uchiha, <laughs> he's Sasuke, which is also the secondhand uh, main character, his brother, and they always did flashbacks about how he himself always basically regretted the decision he made but was only told to make that decision and he was only given that decision to make but he didn't come up with that his himself all right now look we gotta always realize remember a village is a concept almost like a country and then uh you know what i'm saying so it's like the hokages are like the presidents and then the people the hokage talk to the elders are like the the vice presidents or the consolers or like you know the, shit, the stuff we got here now so you knowing this now you know that the hokage pretty much and the people that he talks to is the ones that formulate what's going to happen to their own village on a broad level and they get the second hand from the land of fire anyway now we got to know okay if Sasuke is the son, uh, uh, brother of Itachi, and Itachi was told to kill his clan, now we gotta, now we gotta bring in the context a little bit. Okay, he told, he was told to kill his own clan from the superiors, but you gotta realize, okay, he's sacrificing himself and all his time, everything he ever knew, for what? Not what he thinks. He may have agreed with it, but he never came up with that himself. So. The elders and the Hokages basically convinced him. They tried to make it seem like it wasn't like, you know, malice, but they were they were trying to make it seem like Donzo was the one doing it. But you got to remember, they're the whole thing itself. The Hokage at the end of the day still talks to those people. They're all together. They might not like each other, but they're all together. So we got to realize Itachi was basically a puppet utilized without him knowing it or not to think that he's supporting secondhand, supporting the village that he's in, when really he got told that from somebody, which was the Hokage and elders, when they secondhand got told that from somebody, cause it's already a system that is laid out. So they're just trying to pretty much execute it the best way they can from their position. So all they can do is what? Look at the threats within their village. They look at the threats within their village and what do they have? Uchiha that are dark just because they see red or they or because they're manipulative or because they can't really understand them. You can really kind of tie this to a certain people. I don't really care about race, but look, there's a certain people that resonate with certain things. I don't really care about the skin and where you come from. But anyway, yeah, so the, the village itself was scared. So it's just that whole concept of, oh, you know, oh, there's these people, there's a group of clan that we don't understand. So we're gonna, do whatever we can to eradicate them to be honest that's like the whole bit that's the whole how the world was built you eradicate what you don't understand and you utilize them for your own motherfucking liking and that's why donzo utilized it for itself they're trying to look don't get blinded by just donzo though it what it's the hokage too remember just because somebody's doing something that they think is right don't mean it's right so the hokage is yeah he was a good hearted person but that's almost like a John F. Kennedy, but what he was really doing was trying to control what he had to control because they had to listen to what was on top of them, which was the land of fire. And what's on top of the land of fire? The whole consoling. Naruto is telling y'all that the NATO or the national, the the whole, basically what the, whatever they call it, wherever they all talking in the round table is that. It's all the Hokages put together, or all the Kages put together, and they all come together to talk together. It's all a concept to let y'all know. It's almost like the, it's almost like the concept of okay, I'm gonna give up something that I had, something that I produced, to in turn protect my God, protect my mind frame, protect the overall thing that these people are constructed under. It don't go no further than that. Itachi was a traitor. He betrayed his damn uh, brother. Well, he couldn't betray his brother, but he betrayed everybody else. But it's trying to tell you, this is the spell. Look, Cain and Abel, <laughs> Cain and Abel spell. But it's like, it's two brothers that had two different thoughts. So one of them had to X out each other. So Sasuke killed one of the other one. But it's all telling you, it's the psyche of nobody ever knowing 
or ever being on the right page. Nobody ever having the actual right starting point of anything. So it's like everybody's just going against each other, not knowing that they're just making up their own minds, making up their own circumstance, secondhand, whatever they were told to pretty much carry it out. Like I said, though, it's all intertwined because you don't know that it's all set out for you anyway. And there's people that don't even know what's going on beyond you. So what you think you're going to be doing? Not knowing what's going on. What happens in the workplace when things are going turbulent in the CEO placement? God damn it. The, the people on bottom might not know, but they're going to sense a sense of relaxation or a sense of chaoticness. But it's up to you to be the smart person within that to expand out, to broaden up, to be like, oh, wait, it's easy to see. I just got to look at myself and what I would do if I was in that situation. But yeah, my bad if I came off a little fiery. It's Monday, but it's like nothing but fire in the sky, aka what we're supposed to act as. Like the sun we see is in Aries, and then like the moon we in, like that reflection, the world, the ties, the emotions is in Leo, so that's all fire. So I'm feeling a little fire. But yeah, so y'all look at this the right way. I'm gonna be doing more of these. Itachi was just somebody that was sacrificed for the sake of the village. It don't go no further than that. They even said that, but you gotta look at it deeper though. Shout out to y'all.